You know, yesterday, an active duty service member set himself on fire in front of the Israeli embassy in protest of U.S. support <clears throat> for Israel's operations in Gaza. Has the secretary been briefed on Airman Bushnell, and is he concerned that maybe this airman's actions uh, may indicate that there's a, a bigger issue within the military as far as U.S. support for this ongoing operation? Yeah, so uh, the secretary is following the situation. I know the Air Force has confirmed the airman's death. Uh, they do plan to provide additional information 24 hours after next of kin notifications are complete. Uh, it certainly is a tragic event. Uh, we do extend our condolences to the airman's family. Uh, in terms of the incident itself, Tara, uh, as you know, the D.C. Metropolitan Police Department has the lead for responding to questions about that incident. So, so anything on that? Uh, I'd have to refer you to to them. But is the secretary concerned that this might indicate that there's a, a deeper issue, maybe the U.S. military being uh, military personnel being concerned about how uh, weapons and support for Israel is being used on civilians in Gaza? Well, look, from a Department of Defense standpoint, since Hamas's brutal attacks on October 7th, we've been focused on the four key areas that the Secretary set out from the onset. That's protecting U.S. forces and citizens in the region, supporting Israel's inherent right to defend itself from terrorist attacks, working closely with Israel to support and secure the release of hostages from Hamas, and ensuring that the crisis, the conflict between Hamas and Israel, doesn't escalate into a broader regional conflict. And so those objectives are what continue to inform our approach to the situation in the Middle East. And as we've talked about before, while our support for Israel's inherent right to defend itself is ironclad, we've also continued to actively communicate our expectations that Israel take civilian safety and humanitarian assistance into account into their operations. You see that incorporated into every conversation the Secretary has with his counterpart in Israel as well as other U.S. officials. And we expect them to continue to adhere to the law of armed conflict and international humanitarian law. We'll continue to do that. Jennifer.